Hi everybody, my name is Lushan, a Year 1 student currently pursuing a diploma in Biomedical Engineering from the School of Engineering, and you're watching Of Course MP, where I'll be showing you what a day in the life of an MP student in my course is like. So, let's go! So, to start my day off, I usually have my iced coffee from Food Club first before heading off to my first lesson. I'm back with my iced coffee, and let me just run you guys down through about what we'll be going through today. From 9am to 12pm, we're going to be have Digital Fundamentals, and from 2pm to 5pm, we're going to be having Analog Electronics. So let's not be late for our class, and let's go! For our first class, we have an online lesson called Digital Fundamentals, and it will be a mixture of both theory and practical lesson. We'll be learning about the fundamentals of digital systems, sequential and combinational logic circuits, as well as the use of flip-flops and registers. In simple terms, we're learning how to construct basic digital circuits. As you can see here, I'm currently working on a schematic diagram of a simple burglar alarm system which, when the system detects any movement, it will trigger the alarm provided that the alarm is on first. This module is important as it will allow us to understand, analyze, and design basic digital circuit systems. Now, I'm having my lunch at Food Club, and for today's lunch, we'll be having chicken rice. So I'll quickly have my lunch and move off to poolside, where I'll be showing you one of my favorite places in school to relax at. So I'll see you in just a moment. So now I'm at the poolside. I enjoy coming to poolside as the ambience here is pretty chill and relaxing. Not only that, as you can see behind me, this is where we have our Olympic size swimming pool. Not only that, gym works and the sports complex are also nearby. So students can head on online to book for these facilities and come here to use them. Since I have some time left, I'll take this opportunity to share a little bit more on why I chose to study Biomedical Engineering. So, why did I choose to study Biomedical Engineering? I have always wanted to give back to society in terms of designing medical equipments so that they can become cheaper and help to lessen the burden of expensive bills that patients have to pay. Hence, I've always known that I wanted to study Biomedical Engineering as it is the only course which allows me to go to that pathway as it bridges life sciences with engineering. Knowing that, I seized the opportunity during early admission exercise and got into MP. In terms of practical experiences I've had so far in biomedical engineering, I would say that every week there will be practical lessons for us, from doing simple circuits to looking at waveforms. There will be more modules related to life sciences from year 2 onwards. Not only that, we also have the opportunity to bring our product designs to life outside of the classroom setting. Okay, so my next lesson will be at 2pm and I'll see all of you later. Now, on to my last lesson for the day, which is Analog Electronics. In this module, we'll learn the basics of it such as operational properties, working principles, and the applications of discrete electrical devices. Like this morning's lesson, we'll be trained using practical circuits so that we are familiarized with them, which will be useful when we want to take specialized modules in the subsequent semesters. And for my practical, I'll be building two circuits, which are a half-wave rectifier and a full-wave bridge rectifier. Learning these engineering basics in year 1 helps us to understand how various equipments are made. And this is important so that in year 2 and 3, where we are studying cells and molecular biology, we can design and develop our own medical equipments. I hope that you had an insightful day with me and know more about biomedical engineering now. Let us know which part was your favourite in the comment section below. And now I'll be heading home to rush for my assignments. Bye-bye!